What's up, everyone? And thanks for listening to the Average Nerd live stream. It's your boys and girl, the Average Nerds. We're just a bunch of average guys and girls uh, talking about nerdy things. I'll be your host for the day one. And joining us today, as always, we have the cosplay cutie himself, Jorge. I don't want to grow up. The Magic Kingdom's finest, Jay. That's right. And our resident wig applying master, Dave. Wingardium Leviosa. Nice. Uh, oh, Adam, who is our last person on the podcast to join us, will be joining us a little later. Uh, but you can see him on the comments. Uh, and today we are joined by some very special guests. Dave, would you like to introduce our guest for us? Yes. I have my two very good friends, Adam and Lani, uh, part of my Once Upon a Time. And right now, they are channeling their inner Draco Malfoy and Hermione Granger. Um, I've known these two for a very long time, like I said, and uh, we've been like friends since like college and like hanging out at cons, different cons, which has been really fun. Nice. So thank you for, for joining us today. Thank, thank you for conjuring us here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not Adam and Lonnie, it's Hermione and Draco for the day, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Black Mage, get it together. He must be a Ravenclaw or something. Oh, those are the worst. I'm just kidding. He has a bias. And as we like to start off every week, whenever we do one of these, we like to start it off with our getting to know you question, our GTK of the day, what we like to call. So today's G uh, GTK of the day is, if you had no limitations, who would your dream cosplay character be? Mm. Let's have our, you know, let's let our guests go first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to answer? No limitations. Let's see. I would like to somehow make all of the Voltron lions work. Ooh. Which oh. somehow would involve my actual legs and arms exiting my body. So <laughs> that would be Voltron, no limitations. That would be that's sick. that's pretty oh, sick. Yeah, pretty nice. Good. Oh, hey, there's Voltron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mega lions. <laughs> I oh. just want to be something with armor, like the real armor, like the hardcore looking. Because there's some I can't, I won't even try to do that. It's too much time. I'd get too frustrated. But I don't know if it's a specific person. Who wears a lot of armor? For me. Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones wears a lot of armor. Mm -hmm. Or Samus Aaron. Ooh. Samus? Yes. Like Ooh, that would be nice. nice. You could pull off Samus. You just have to yeah. tuck yourself in a little ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but see, no limitations. No. So you have the ability to do that now. Yeah. I know one that I wanted to do, and I really like it. I think I got the idea from Adam, but it was uh, the gadget cosplay. I just love when people do oh, gadgets. That's a cool one. It's, it's so good. Like, I honestly, any animal. That's yes. Yes. If that I could be cool, I could be, oh. I could be Chip, and you can be Gadget. Nice. That would be dope. And that's a mix of animal and armor. I don't know how you would look Ooh, good yeah, doing yeah. that, though. It would be really scary. Are you saying I wouldn't look good as a chipmunk? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. I beg to differ. <laughs> awesome. Dave, how about you? What would your dream cosplay be? Oh, dude. So for the longest, I've, I have a sketch of this cosplay that I've always wanted to make of um, combining Transformers and Supernatural. Uh, you know, in Supernatural, they have the, uh, the Impala. So I've always wanted to make a costume. I have a sketch of it, but like, yeah, I've always wanted to make that costume happen of a uh, transformer, but um, the actual turn Impala. into the Impala. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. Wow, that's pretty sick. I like that combination. Someone says in the uh, chat that they can cosplay as a burrito. Yeah, that's. Yeah, funny. That. <laughs> <laughs> I can help you with that. He's good at, at odd things like that. I'll just wear all white and I'll wrap myself around you. There you oh, go. Oh, there you go. There it is. <laughs> Put cheese on top, and you're all set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can put some ingredients inside so we yeah. can have people wrapped oh, up. Sounds good. Wear some <laughs> <laughs> the ones that cover your face. 
I, I've actually seen. Have you seen when people have newborns? I've seen some people have the Chipotle costume and then they wrap the newborn oh. in this bottle, so the newborn looks like a burrito. That's actually kind of oh. cute. Ooh, <laughs> awesome like stuff. <laughs> I always wanted to do this costume cosplay group where you get a bunch of people to dress up like the Disney Tsum Tsums. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, just, oh, oh it just, <laughs> a human just layer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about you, Jorge? What's your dream cosplay? That's tough. I was trying to think of one. Uh, but the ones that I think of, I think are doable. They don't actually need too many limitations. I would want to be reverse flash just one time. Of course. <laughs> but if I could make my eyes glow yellow. red, if I could make my eyes glow red, that would be, I guess, the no limitations. Or if you could really run oh, really fast that too if i could actually <laughs> run really fast <laughs> oh a whole a whole toys r us shop yeah there you go that would be my cost <laughs> yeah, there's an entire toys entire toys r us store oh yeah you can open your jacket up and there's all and these toys, all <laughs> toys. Yeah. i heard you want some toys <laughs> oh that could get awkward really quickly <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jay? What's your dream cosplay? Uh, mine's kind of like Lonnie's. I, I want like full armor, like so, like X armor Mega Man, with the oh. ability to like change weapons. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to be Zero too. Ooh, yeah, that's Ooh. a good one too, with the sword. And the, I can't, I can't grow a tail like that though. But <laughs> I, I like Pink Lacor says he wants to cosplay as uh, Jorge. She, yeah. she. She. <laughs> All you need is a yellow beanie. A yellow Jorge. beanie. <laughs> <laughs> cool i think for me uh one of my honorable mentions is any of the gundam mechs would be pretty cool sick mm, heavy arms or like death scythe hell is a gundam but nice. but my dream would be zordon from the power rangers it's a walking tube with a floating head yeah <laughs> that'd be a lot of fun <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks everyone for answering the question. So uh, again, uh, Adam and Lonnie, or Draco and Hermione, uh, are joining us from uh, My Once Upon a Time. Uh, do, can you guys explain to us a little bit about uh, what that is? Sure. Do you want me to take this one? Or... <laughs> well, this is a company we started um, technically when we lived in LA. See, I, I, it's hard for me to break character once I go into the voice, but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Um, and it was actually my best friend, Courtney, since we were like four or five years old. It was her idea because I'd worked for a company when I was back here doing um, like princess parties and I really loved it. And she said, let's start our own. And I was very hesitant because I didn't want, because if I moved back to Northern California, we would be like in the town next door to the company I used to work at. Uh, so I didn't want there to be any, any animosity. Mm -hmm. the and there was. <laughs> but I, <laughs> with everything and it, and it got a little, uh, everything turned around and it was fine. But um, Courtney could have kind of dropped out of it right away. She didn't realize uh, what kind of commitment it was. I kept trying to tell her it's like owning a business. It doesn't matter what it is. It's a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. so luckily, this one's had my back ever since. And he's been with me since the start. So it's our baby. Oh, and it's been yeah. like, I don't know if like this December would be six years. I was trying to figure this out yesterday because... Our cast member, Sarah, she's been with us since the beginning, a good friend of mine for a really long time. And she'll be moving to LA the beginning of this month. She just got married. Oh, yeah. oh yay. Like, I don't remember if this is coming up six years for us or seven years, but um, we're a character entertainment company. So we do characters like this, but we portray them as accurately as possible. Nice. So if you're going to meet a character at a park, it would be somewhat similar, but we, we do it for different events. It could be like a, mo like a theater uh, event or like, a work party, um, a birthday party, uh, honestly, a little bit. We've done a little bit of everything. We've even worked with some cons before, which has been fun because then both the worlds come together. And they're all related anyway, the performing arts and the cosplay. So For sure. Yeah. I'm assuming both of y'all like to act. Yes. yes. <laughs> I was doing theater and on-camera acting and that sort of thing yeah. for a long time before I ever started cosplaying. We actually went to our first con together mm -hmm. when we were living in LA in 2014. That was WonderCon. Hey. Uh, Vega Ooh. and it was Chun Li. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, he actually bought the the mask and the claws from someone. Like they were really nice, but he made the rest of it. Mine was just like one of those uh, bought co like costumes that I owned for like a really long time because I always wanted to be Chun Li. 
Mm -hmm. um, but the only thing I did, I think, with mine was style the wig, which is a it was horrible at the time. It was like some cheap, like ten dollar thing. But it looks <laughs> fine in the pictures. Yeah, nice. as long as it looks yeah, good for the pictures. Yeah. As long as it looks good for the gram, that's all that matters, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. But it was neat. So when we got to do these characters for the company, it was actually at a castle. Um, it was oh. very Harry Potter themed. Out Ooh. of like, I'm trying to remember where it we were. It was an actual costume in like the Auburn area. An actual, an actual castle. castle. It, it was out oh, wow. nowhere. It was hard wow. to find. And so we got to like treat it like it was Hogwarts, and it was really neat. We had everything. It was the whole nine yards. They went all out for us. So wow. it was That's really amazing. Cool. It was just a private event, but it was a really big event at the same time. And it sounds like we went on a tangent. I think the original <laughs> is what we do. Well, that was part of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, way. Yeah. Yeah. no, it all works. Ever. Just tell me to shush it. <laughs> oh no 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 it's okay oh, no. we, we enjoy it yeah yeah for sure but in a nutshell we can provide the characters of your choice to show up at your special event even if that might be a live stream video okay. event oh so no. yeah. you want your favorite superhero to show up at your son's birthday zoom chat or whatever and we can make that happen nice in a nutshell that's what we do um we end up doing a lot of kids' parties, but we want the world to know. I mean, I, I've been hired to show up as a pirate at a ball. You know, <laughs> you know, the parties can be anything. It could be a wedding reception, bar mitzvah. I don't know. Yeah. Or if anyone <laughs> wants to do those murder mystery parties. We can do activities with them and same with the characters. So like a treasure hunt for a pirate, anything. And we can mm -hmm. adapt to the different age groups too. For sure. So even those adults out there, if you want to throw your own murder mystery party, make sure to hit up my Once Upon a Time. So you kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but um, you know, with this pandemic and everyone having to shelter in place, obviously the amount of events that you can go to in person has been limited. How has it been adjusting to that? Oh, goodness. Um, so when it first happened, it was very stressful because everyone was trying to cancel like right away. Yeah. Um, so just trying to kind of like settle things in. Um, but we went, luckily with this one, he thought of the doing the video visits right away. So we just geared everything towards everything virtual. So it went from video visits, just like the one-on-one -on -one with people, with um, kids, and it gave them some, something to distract themselves, some, you know, a little bit of, uh, of happy. It was yeah, really nice. For sure. So we did it really affordably at, at first. And then when everything kind of started to get more normal, we turned them into like different things. So we had like the party. So if they're going to have a big party, it was going to cost more. The one-on-ones we still offer for the same. And then we have the like videograms we do for someone that, you know, just wants something little and it, it's, it's very, very affordable. Um, and then we started doing the drop by visits, um, like the one-on-one -on -one where a character would show up at a house, um, and uh, perform like from a distance. Um, and oh, that's cool. things like that, it does get a little tricky. Um, so some of them have been a little bit more event style than others like backyard parties or like mm -hmm. they have to wear masks and the performers are wearing masks and we're just a lot more cautious, try to keep the distance from everyone. It's a little hard with kids. Kids want to leave you. Yeah. And, and they <laughs> just take off their masks and they're like, put it down here. And, you know, they're not thinking because they're so excited. And they're small children. So it's a Aww. lot. It's, there's a lot more going. And it's just a lot more to be responsible for. But mm -hmm. we're making it work. So it, a lot less visits than before. We're doing most of them ourselves. Mm -hmm. It kind of gets to be mm -hmm. a more of a liability having people do these events because you for know, sure you to follow the rules <laughs> um, you should only yeah. offer characters that wear masks like spider-man and like <laughs> and <laughs> some of the characters has, like, already have masks so they're yeah. already, they're good to go you know which is great right. somebody in the <laughs> chat mentioned a question that's kind of related and it's um they asked about travel about how far will you guys do travel for uh any kind of like performance or job oh, or anything that's like that. uh we've been all over the map um there have been times where the client was willing to pay for us to drive out to an area. So really, if a client is willing to make it happen, we'll travel anywhere. Yeah, I mean, like, in the beginning, it. we went to Reno for an event. It was a, my cousin, she was working for a nonprofit, and so she was able to pay for our trip. So it was nice, it, it just, it paid for our trip, but we were able to go and do the event with them. Um, but honestly, like the furthest we go on a normal basis, I would say like would be like San Jose or like 
for the Harry Potter event, we were in the um, Auburn, Auburn area. area. Mm -hmm. And we're in uh, the Cordelia Fairfield area. So we're kind of like right in the middle of everyone, which is great. You can almost yeah. say all of Northern California. <laughs> Mostly, yes. Because <laughs> nice. <laughs> we have performers spread out too. So we have some that are like in, in those further away areas. Like we have people in Loomis, in the Valley, down in the San Jose area. Um, even some in the um, uh, Stockton-ish area. So we're all over the place. All over North. So if you're in NorCal, they'll they'll there go to you. Go. Even yeah. if you're in Reno, apparently. If away from a performer, they, we just charge travel because For sure. we have to. We have to, <laughs> and that goes to the performer. So. So how many how many people are a part of the business? Like how I many people? I don't even do know you? anymore. <laughs> we have so many. I mean, she's the mastermind. She's the brains. Really, mm -hmm. I nice. am My character is too, so it's perfect. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of help help out, and then beyond that, we have actors, and many actors are also costumers, so we'll uh -huh. take advantage of their services. I don't know, twenty-five to thirty people work. Yeah, because oh, wow, wow, that, that's like, a lot. Just work on occasion. So, like, we have some cosplayers that have their own things, and they do like occasional things for us. But we have like a main crew. I think our main crew is, let me think. There's like three boys and one, two, three, four, I don't know, like seven girls that are like the main the main ones, something like that. Maybe 10 yeah. girls. Uh, the, the but girl we might girls, have a cosplayer who can only portray Miles Morales. And so he only yeah. gets called when that's Miles Morales is uh, okay. That makes yeah. sense. So, so do, are you accepting more people? Is this something people can apply or for? trying to find a job. Or these, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And I've been taking, and we've been taking most of them because this is my only work right now. Ever since yeah. it happened, my school job was taken away because I was just a sub mm -hmm. SBA. So I lost that right away. Um, mm -hmm. He got a new job. Um, so he still has his pay. But uh, all my jobs, I could do like makeup artistry. I have nothing. So this is. So I have to take all the jobs myself so mm -hmm. I can afford to, to live and, and keep the business going. Nice. Right, right. But it, a lot of it goes just right back into the business too because we're always adding new characters and upgrades. Mm. I can't stop upgrading. <laughs> Even though I wasn't <laughs> supposed to during all this, like I really should be saving more, but it's like, so hard. Yeah, I know. Elsa needs new shoes. <laughs> like, you can't even see her feet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. We did have a question. I thought this was a good one. Um, can you share? Do you have a best or favorite experience that you've had Ooh. with cosplay or the business or both? Either, I guess either both. or. Yeah, either either or. or. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a hard one. There's been so so many good mm. ones. Yeah, I mean, most recently off the top of my head, I'd have to say this event because I mean, yeah, we we got to be these characters and hang out in a castle, and yeah. it was fun. And it was a really fun group, and everyone was into it, all ages. And it was for a teenager, like a young teen, right. so it was like all older anyway. But they mm -hmm. had such a good spirit about all of them. I love when adults get into this, mm -hmm. like yeah. when they really get into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then on that note, one of my better experiences, too, is we were just walking uh, downtown in one of our hometowns, and I was dressed up as Jack Sparrow, oh. up and down the downtown street, <laughs> buying me drinks. Whoa, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> there, there's a pro tip for anyone who just wants free drinks. Just dress up as Jack Sparrow. <laughs> 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 People will buy you drink. <laughs> Before we move on, though, I, I think it's time for a giveaway. What do y'all think? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. Ooh, what are we? Should we dorbs them up? We're gonna dorbs them up now. Let's, yeah, let's, dorbs them up. <laughs> let's see if there is any X Men fans out there or Marvel fans out there. We're gonna hit you up with some dorbs, so you get a Storm New York Comic Con dorb. Okay. Along with that, you will also be getting the Star Lord Guardians of the Galaxy Dorbs ride. Cool. And that's not all. You'll but also wait, be getting <laughs> Beasts in the Black Jet Dorbs ride. Goodness, that's so that's the Walmart. Oh, you know so you'll get all three. You get the Star Lord, Actually, the Storm. I'll throw this in there too. But it's wait, there's more. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll throw that in there as well. The the Green Goblin pop keychain. Ooh, someone says they cosplay as Starlight, so this would be the perfect uh, prize. That's Alex. Shout out to Alex. 
DeLorean. Secondary one. heroes. Well, oh. So, Jorge, go ahead and hit them with that keyword for them to enter the giveaway. Okay. So, if anyone is new here, which I think I've seen most of you, but just in case, uh, all you have to do is type exclamation point and the keyword, which I'm about to give you after I launch the giveaway, and you will have an entry. So, let me push this through. And well, the giveaway he's... is okay. starting now, and your keyword is going to be exclamation point Marvel. Marvel, M-A-R-V-E-L. Yes. So go ahead and enter that word uh, in an order to join. I saw one, a cool question in here earlier. Where did it go? Oh, From uh, hey, hey, Mr. Rosario. Mr. Rosario is asking, what was the weirdest or most awkward party you've ever performed in? <laughs> That's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> So many. I mean, <laughs> actually, that same day when I got the shots as Jack Sparrow, I had come from I a party. I was thinking about that, that you should share that. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was Jack Sparrow, and I went to a party. You were a pirate captain. I was a pirate captain. Uh, that just I see what like you did there. I see what you did there. He's Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I was cosplaying Jack Sparrow. I went to a party, go. and the parents... Don't ever do this, by the way. The parents <laughs> no hired me for entertainment. All oh. the kids were downstairs. I show up, they're like, okay, the kids are downstairs. I'm going to go upstairs. Bye, have fun. So I'm downstairs with a bunch of strange children and the parents are <laughs> oh. drinking. Oh, no. Oh, they were having a dinner party. Originally. They hired me to distract their children, basically. Oh. Oh. Pseudo babysitter oh. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. <laughs> they, they weren't nice to him. They Aww. had no adult supervision. They thought that I was just some guy that they were, I was hired to torment. I don't know. They were hired <laughs> to me. Oh, no. I felt so bad when I found out because I was with another performer at another visit and ours was like splendid. <laughs> oh. When I found out about his, I felt so bad. Well, Are you, you about these parents, though? Like, you just let a strange man alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sus. I, but, and, you know, like, at least have one eye on your kids. Like, yeah. whether I was yeah. there or not, you just, you're leaving your kids in like and some they, basement by themselves. They beat up on him though. Oh, they could have been playing oh. the Ouija board or, and stabbing each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you, <laughs> whoa, whoa. you deserve those shots after. And so yeah, all those people who gave you those free shots, <laughs> you deserve so those. was so nice to him and they loved it. So he, he needed that. Cause that's his fate, one of his favorite to be. Yeah. Jack Sparrow, nice. Or a pirate captain, right? We don't want to get, uh, yeah. Cease and desist letters from Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that is that an issue? Is that an issue when you do gigs as certain characters that you have to worry about cease and desist? It's it's so interesting. It's like a lot of times you tiptoe this fine line because cosplay is fine. It's like I can cosplay Jack Sparrow, but when I go to a gig, I'm the pirate captain. Uh, it's a weird, interesting line. Make yeah, sure. so be your own versions in some way. Um, but I mean, a lot of companies do this, though. I mean, we're all over the place. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think I, I've been really lucky where I haven't had too many awkward visits myself. Um, but I also can go along with awkwardness just fine. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> awkward. But I've heard there was that one of my friends' companies, I think they had one of the worst stories that. Um, she worked for a different company. I think it was in the Sunday, California area. They went into a house that ended up being kind of like a drug den. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. They found out that there was this room and that thing was going on. They asked to leave right away. Yeah. <laughs> so that was I think it was just on a kid's birthday, too, which is really sad. I don't know if oh. they reported them or what. <laughs> So yeah, the parties in the back just walk through the meth lab. Yeah, and, yeah. Don't mind the pots and pans on the oh. side. And I mean, that was that's bad. I, I haven't really had anything like that. Nothing I can think of off the top of my head. I know that our group got hired for a really awkward one down in um, at the San Jose area with a company we work with a lot. It was awkward only because it was like one of those big corporate parties, and the theme was just really interesting. It was that one where um, you were the mayor. Oh sure. So these oh. were all. Um, these were all like original characters. So mm -hmm. we had our whole team down there as like uh, different uh, carnivalists. Type. Yeah. There was a big um, corporate uh, employee appreciation party, and they made this whole little downtown area look like its own little town, old mm -hmm. timey. And I played the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> But it was just awkward. It was just very different than everyone what you guys normally did. It's more like carnival games versus yeah. Yeah. being in character. Though you were still in character the whole time. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. So, so not that bad. Like, we, at least we weren't expecting like stories where like you were getting stabbed or anything by anyone. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, yeah, we don't want that. No, 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 we no, definitely no. don't want anything. Like yeah, that. The, the, the next girl like, might be. Kind of it was worst. worse, but I mean, he didn't give all the details. Yeah. Oh no! I don't think there was any stabbing. I don't know. No, what actually, actually there was. Okay. Oh, oh no! no. Right. Too yeah. soon. We yeah. opened the box. Another little cocktail toothpicks. Oh, wow. Wow. It, was it was pirate themed, so there were little um, swords. swords. Oh. Yeah. And uh, the the kid thought it'd be funny to like poke my hand with that. So oh my, oh. the closest thing to getting stabs. Kids I, are the worst. It is fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I have been subbing elementary school for a while by the time we started the business. So I'm like used to kids. I know how to yeah. handle myself around them. So there's no Until big they get little plastic swords. <laughs> just stab you. It costs extra, though. <laughs> you can't have most kids have balloon swords because they just go crazy with them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. For sure. Cool. So before we continue, let's go ahead and pick our winner from. Oh, the- yes. Let's do that. I uh, think we're at that time. Okay, and can we remind everyone real quick what they're winning? They are winning a lot of dorbs. Adorbs Storm is adorable. Beast on the Blackbird, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, as well mm -hmm. as Star Lord in the Milano spaceship. And And the pocket pocket keychain. Okay. Green Goblin. Milano a cookie? (laughs) I think so. (laughs) They're both Milanos, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and our winner is drum roll, mocking, mocking Lazarus, Lazarus eighty nine. Hey. Congratulations! Congrats. So, mocking Lazarus, feel free to DM us at Average Nerd Pod either on Instagram or Twitter with your um, shipping information, and we'll make sure to get these shipped out to you ASAP. Thank you for, again for joining. We'll have more giveaways later on. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, before we move on. Uh, Adam and Lonnie, do you mind giving us a quick tour of your uh, studio? Oh, sure. Let's this is your lot. tour guide here, Draco All Malfoy. Right. <laughs> right. So we're we're here, magic of television, but oh, oh. Yeah, it's, and it's actually a backdrop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the backdrop set up. Yes, and uh, here's a little. Um, COVID secret since uh, we've been doing video chats, I haven't needed to wear shoes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> the benefits. The benefits. Hell no one. So, <laughs> so this is actually our garage, and we've got our backdrop set up back there. Those are all Tupperwares full of oh, costume pieces. Um, yes, Lonnie Gunn's going to be playing our Vanna <laughs> White. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So this is our costume room. We've got some out hanging right here. Oh yeah, so um, go ahead, expand them. Sanitize them zoom in. like after every wear. They're just they've been airing out up here after they get washed. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's our uh, studio set up with the lights. As you can see, that's where we just were. We weren't in Hogwarts. I know, <laughs> shocker. Um, all girl costume rack. A whole mm. costume rack of just men's clothing, and this is the makeup wow, hey. we put those way. And also heads, creepy heads. I put Ooh. faces on most of them. Some of them oh, yeah. are really bad. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff nightmares are made of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nice. that is just the the garage's worth of. The costume stuff we have going on. Nice. Whoa. And here's some, there's some party things over there. And then we have party things in drawers. Are those yeah. wings? Lots of props. Those are wings, oh. right? Yeah. yeah, I saw some wings over there, too. Ooh. 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 Props. Oh, props. Some homies. Oh, oh, no. friends. oh yeah, the one? wings. Yeah, maybe Lonnie can tell you the uh, producer of these fairy wings, but... Um, I believe it was Wicked Fairy Wings. I don't even think she's around anymore. I think oh. that it closed her shop on um, Etsy or whatever it was. Oh. And you can't quite catch it, but they're iridescent and they glow in the light. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, so the, 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 these ones are the iridescent ones. There's two pairs of those. Oh, oh there we are. Whoa. Oh, wow. 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 O
for a cosplay. She is a fairy. <laughs> yeah, thank you for this behind favorite. the scenes. They don't get enough love. Look at that. So yes, lots and lots of gear. I think that's mostly everything. I mean, the props. Props we have are endless. Oh, yeah, Got a ton a of those, ones. too. Get us back in our... I, I just realized that I have your ring. Because oh. I used my magic and I took it from you. Oh, thank you for magic. <laughs> Slytherin magic. You nice. know, the funny thing is I'm actually a Slytherin and he's a Gryffindor. Oh, yeah. When oh, you really? Oh, uh, Pottermore? Yeah. Nice. Pottermore, yeah. I took it four times and I got Gryffindor every time. See, I, I took it like three or four times. I got Hufflepuff every time. I got Hufflepuff too. And then I, I went to um, the WB tour where they actually have the hat sorting hat. I was like, okay, this is like random. It's going to give me something different. It gave me Hufflepuff again. I was like, <laughs> 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 I can't, can't deny. We did the sorting hat at our event and we, and we got our, we got we got our respect. Respect. everybody yeah. got the respected houses. Oh, Only man. one kid had to do it again because yeah. they were all messed up too. So. It was really interesting. Dude, that, that sorting hat's legit. They know. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think J.K. Rowling's actually outside of everybody's house just, like, taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking just, like, since it's on your head, something just goes into your brain. All right. <laughs> oh. Like a chip. That, that Hogwarts tech. <laughs> you don't even know when it's so small. <laughs> You'll take the test multiple times, Shake's head. <laughs> it's just to confirm just the fact. To make sure. It's just I to confirm the fact. Slytherin, that's why I took it multiple times. No, 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 I'm Slytherin. I'm Slytherin. Nah. I, I got Hufflepuff. I think I took it a few times, too. I got the same thing. Hufflepuff? You got to go, go to that WB tour now when it opens. To confirm. Oh, yeah. You know, I did. Adam, that's where I did it. Oh, we're okay. actually really bad nerds, and we had, all, we had seen Harry Potter, like, once each. So in order to do this, we had to watch all of them together. For and sure. the lines mm -hmm. and everything. It mm -hmm. was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think out of all the characters, they have like one of the most ex extreme, like, well, I mean, like what the movies are how long each, like they're really like two long. and a half hours. Yeah. Two and a half, yeah. 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 yeah I just remember cool. back in like, yeah. Film study. yeah. And I think that's why I didn't watch them again is because like neither of us sit through movies, like long movies very well. And to have that many. Yeah, I liked Harry Potter, but I wasn't like really into it like everyone else until I rewatched them all. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say something that's gonna get me crushed here. I haven't <laughs> seen all of them. <laughs> uh, what did you say on our last podcast? The, the only time you watch them is like in a hotel room. Yep, the only time I ever watch Harry Potter is at like a, a hotel room during a con, and it's like, oh look, Harry Potter's on. I guess I'll watch it. <laughs> so you don't actually watch it. Yeah, exactly. I think that's happened to us several times, right, Jay? Yep. I think we've been yep. in the same like yeah, the last con we conventions. Also, yeah. yeah. something so you don't feel alone. I was never a fan of the Lord of the Rings. Um, but the, oh. I, mean, I watched them when they first came out. That was not, I'm not into fantasy, I guess. That kind of fantasy. That's what he always tells me. But I think if I watched them again, I'd probably like them. I just wasn't into it at the time. And I also watched them back to back, too. Oh, and, Lord, oh, oh wow. Like, like I was the whole Extended thing. Extended edition. Yeah. I had never seen them, so I watched them all. <laughs> I just remember when, going back to Harry Potter, the books, like in middle school, they would be like this small at first and they just gradually got bigger. <laughs> To the point where it was like an encyclopedia. I'm like, I'm not going to read all this. <laughs> cool. Um, I honestly prefer the books over the movies. Wizarding World at Universal would change your mind. Ooh. I, I still haven't. We haven't gone since they put that in. Actually, they were building it the last time we were there. Mm -hmm. mm. I met. I had the butter beer, and that was pretty good. I think butter I beer is good. Oh yeah, because they're really sweet. Back to back, JP. Wow. Whoa. That's that's, That's like commit two days worth, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. You got to wear a diaper for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how long are those compared to the original? I know. The, the originals are already long. I know. I, know. I feel like the extended added an, an additional 30 minutes to each movie. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> that's So that's one thing about your business, too, that I feel like most people don't realize is how much – uh, research has to go into each sure. character that yeah. you're all portraying because that takes up a lot of time. It Especially, you guys get a lot of requests for like characters that you're just not familiar with and that you yeah. have to create on the spot. I mm. love it though because I all of them they're all fun to research. Mm. I think one of the hardest was these two though because there's so much information and mm. the fear is that the, the the guests will know more than you do and 
that's just always kind of nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm sorry. Star Wars is much worse. Anything related oh. to Star Wars. Oh, because the fandom is so huge. Yeah. They ask oh, you yeah. an obscure question, you just say, Whoa, what's yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> subject? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I worked at Disneyland as a like a cast member, that would be the one land I would not want to be in, just because people are like, "What's the quasar?" Whatever. Real, blah, blah. real quick one. Prize Patrol just arrived. Ooh. Oh. Are you here? <laughs> hey, everyone, give it up for Av, the four, fifth member of the Average Nerd Podcast. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I, I apologize. <laughs> Behind okay. Midtown. Yeah. Old, old, old man Av already? Damn. Old man Av. Brett, Brett's on top of it. He's not letting <laughs> you slide, Av. <Ab. laughs> Someone's saying Koya Avellino's in the house. Yeah, Avellino, Price Patrol. Did you guys give anything away yet? We, <laughs> we did. did. We, Let's we give something nice. away. Let's give something else away. Well, now that you're here. here. Let's do one more giveaway. What are we doing? What do you want to do? You guys want to do the, you the... want. Let's dorbs them up again. Let's give them some more dorbs. Just this time. <laughs> so for this one, you will be getting um, Aladdin and Abu oh. on the Ooh. magic carpet. Oh. Along with, if you look at the black mage. A metallic genie, so you get the Aladdin Dorbs prize pack. Nice. And look, there's like a little Abu there too. You ran along. Abu Boo. Abu Boo. Prince Abu Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jorge, hit him with that uh, keyword. Okay, so same thing as last time. You're going to enter exclamation point and the keyword after I launch the giveaway to get your entry. Let me just confirm the keyword. Okay, and this is gonna be a three minute <laughs> giveaway. This is for the Dorbs, and we are going. <laughs> What's Dang, the word? Dave's, Dave's freaking me out, man. <laughs> the word is <laughs> carpet. Really That's right. Right. <laughs> Exclamation point, carpet. Carpet. No. Just carpet. Carpet. Carpet's the word. Carpet's the carpet. word. Nice. Carpet. Exclamation point, carpet. I've always wanted a magic carpet. Ooh. Ooh. Don't we all? Oh, would that have counted for the cosplay with no limitation? Oh yeah, you Ooh. get a carpet, you get a boo, you get a <laughs> man, you get all the accessories. That would be a cool cosplay, actually, carpet. But then you'd probably have to be like stretched out, or maybe figure yeah. out a weight so that it just comes out from your shoulders, so you don't have do to like, always. <laughs> do y'all remember the? Um, they would do like the Aladdin play at. California Adventure. Yeah, the Hyperion version. Good. Yeah, yeah before period. before Frozen took over, and then there'd be the person playing carpet would be doing like a bunch of backflips and stuff. Oh, so like, good. I've never yeah. seen it. Yeah. That's cool. He was, that was pretty cool. Um, so going back to uh, Lonnie and Adam, uh, what's it like just getting into character for these characters that you're going through? Like you, uh, you said you've had acting experience and things like that. What's your, kind of your process to get into character? For us, usually it involves watching whatever show, movie, or reading whatever comic that the character that is in. resembles the character. Yeah. Um, or the type of characters. I mean, have, having been an actor long before I started doing the cosplay thing, it's like the process is very different because when you're an actor, you just study a script. Oh, this character calls my character a jerk in this scene, so he must act like a jerk at times. You don't really have a script when you're mm -hmm. these characters, so it's more like, let's watch the media they're in, and then now I'm going to adapt that. This is how the character acts. Now, how would they act with the same character? We're at a children's party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where it gets oh. tricky, because I might be in character as Batman and feel all dark and gloomy inside, then I go to a kid's party. I'm not going to want to scare them. I got to come up with <laughs> when that hero is born. Yeah. That hero. That hero. <laughs> Some type of compromise between actually super scary Batman and, oh, I don't want to scare these children. That's when you go for like the Adam West 80s or 60s Batman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the, the groovy. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that. To that, is it hard to stay in character, especially like when you have kids stabbing you with mini swords? <laughs> <laughs> That's one example that actually helped me stay in character. I can uh, see that. I can see that. Swashbuckler, but um, 
I think the only thing that makes it hard is when um, he, uh, they question if you're real and they mm -hmm. keep doing it. Like if uh, they question you or saying, you're fake, you're fake. Uh, or mom and dad, like smack dab in the middle of the party. Oh, so how much do I owe you? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's when you scare the kids. That's when you, that's when, that's that's when like you, you get through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Yeah, I'll give this to the royal treasurer at once. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred will really appreciate this. <laughs> it's, it's the same as like when you're with a con, because we like to be characters everywhere. And the more people play along, the easier it is, and the less mm -hmm. they play it on, the harder it gets. Mm -hmm. And then if it's someone you're comfortable with, like there are some characters you just are naturally, you don't have to try. You know, it's really yeah. hard to break those. But if you're someone that you're i'm nothing like this character in real life she's mm, like the know-it-all like she's super smart brainy and a little bit of a, a smooth, sassy it's sassy. 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 now i would have been a good luna um oh, yeah. i would have loved to but i was thinking i'm like well if i have this character and we put all this into it i should do one that would be or not more requested. noticeable yeah Ooh. luna would be but i she would have been a good fit for me personality wise I would have liked to see Luna. Luna's pretty cool. She's chill. Yeah, because I would yeah. Luna. Luna's awesome. <laughs> Someone says Luna is the best. I love the name too, yeah. Sweet. I Real think quick. it's about time to choose our winner. Yeah. Good call, good call. Okay. And Great. just a reminder, what are they winning? They are winning. Oh, I don't know where it went. They're winning a Aladdin Dorbs ride with Abu in the magic carpet, as well as a metallic Dorbs genie. Mm -hmm. So you get nice these nice. dorbs here. Okay, so let's pick our winner. I like how Gene and was a ghost. The winner for this <laughs> is <laughs> Pink. Nick, congrats. Congratulations, Nicola. Nicola. Nicola, congrats. Nice. From nice. Arizona. So again, yeah. as we've been saying, feel free to send us a DM at Average Nerd Pod, either on Instagram or Twitter, with your shipping info, and we will make sure to get these out to you. Pink LaCour, in order for you to get your prize, though, we just need a picture of you dressed, uh, cosplayed as Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to see that, too. Yeah, Nick, Nick you just need a, a yellow beanie. A yellow beanie. <laughs> Maybe some glasses. <laughs> It's nice. Funny. Congratulations. Congrats, Nicola. So um, I think we have a game that we're going to do, right, Dave? Yes. Or, we got or time Black for the game. game. Sorry. Oh, what was that? <laughs> game time. Go, ahead, go ahead and take it from here, Dave. Yeah. Well, so I prepared a little game for you guys. For the folks in the audience, we're going to be naming that tune. Oh, so my. on one team, I have my Once Upon a Time Adam and Lonnie, or Draco <laughs> Malfoy and Hermoini. And on the other team, I have the Average Nerd Pod, Toys R Us Kid, and Castle X ASD. <laughs> and they got me. They got me. Um, yeah. All right. I'm not a game <laughs> so, Adam, I'll be um, messaging you the name of the song. If you can pass it to Lonnie. So, ladies first. Um, and. To me? Yes. We're sending it. Oh. <laughs> So Adam will be guessing the tune that you're gonna be sing, uh, humming or whistling. Ooh. Okay. Well, do you know Sometimes the whistles don't come out. To receive a me message. I see. I want him to guess or I don't. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> make it really bad so he can't guess. <laughs> yeah, you want Adam to guess. Okay. So song. we want to win. Okay. Good. Yes. <laughs> Let it go, Frozen. Yeah. Yeah. How do we come? How do we compete really with that, Jay? I know, dude. There's no chance. How do we compete with that? Lonnie has a really good singing voice. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know. Like, like, Smoothie, so my throat, my throat is all scratchy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hum, and it's just gonna come out all broken. <laughs> do, you, do you ever have to sing for any of your uh, gigs? What was that? Do you ever have to sing for any of your gigs? Oh yeah, all the time. Oh wow. And unfortunately, I'm not good at performing and singing at the same time because I'm not a professional like singer. Mm -hmm. So it, it, if I'm going to be moving around and stuff, I honestly, it's hard for me to do both, but I just do it anyway. Because it's more fun if you're moving around and interacting than if you're just sitting there like singing. 
Yeah. Corey is all warming up, and I'm like, dude, I don't know music, bro. Corey. Who Adam? I hear Adam sing that. Yo, don't gas this up, Jorge. Like, okay. Um, let let me know. Is this time, Dave? How do we- Ah, no, doesn't need to be. Okay. Just as long as you can get it. <laughs> Yo, okay. can, can the ready, rest Jay? of the average nerds help me out here? No, you got it. You got <laughs> it. Right. I think we'll be okay. Oh, my goodness. We'll okay. 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 Um. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there you go. See? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Adam, I sent you a text of Palms the are sweaty song. and everything. <laughs> I know my role. coming this time, right? You ready? Is that Star Wars? I'm all singing to um, oh my gosh, so I, I know this and I honestly don't remember. Isn't that bad? I'm not good at these games. So <laughs> I know this because you sing it all the time. It's okay. Uh, it looks like the, the chat's helping you Just don't anyway. look at the chat. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. I, think <laughs> right at Disneyland. Yeah. I yeah. was thinking it was Indiana Jones, but then I'm like, is it? Hey. Uh, I thought I was wrong, and I'm like, no, that, no, it's not, though. It's something else. Is, <laughs> no, you're right. No, I'm it. really bad at guessing games. I get, no. like, really, like, I get... Like, I don't trust myself at all. You <laughs> got good. It. You did good. Yeah. yeah. All right, Jay. I'm sweating over here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I know. My, my palms are sweating and everything. Like, I, my, my throat hurts. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Move along. Okay. Are you ready, Jorge? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Do I even know how to hum this on? I got to do what you did. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. You can keep going, but I got gotcha. you. Uh, <laughs> you gotta keep going. Under the sea. Hey. Under the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. I sent a, another text to Lani. Oh, Lani, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm just ready. He's, he's itching for it. <laughs> Is it Moana? <laughs> hey. Hey. I started up from the beginning of that one, so. I've been staring at the edge of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this song so many times. I just, oh, I bet. I feel like I we're in a Disney sing along. <laughs> For the rest of the time, can you guys just sing for us? Yeah. Yeah. Just sing, sing. <laughs> it's karaoke time. Come on, we're all Filipino. Uh, we, we need oh, karaoke. Um, oh, you're with five Filipinos right now. So. Real quick. Maybe we should do a second with karaoke. It would be like a late night yeah. one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Five and a half. Oh, yeah. Chat, how do you feel right. about that? Would, would you all be down for a Disney karaoke sing along? Oh. That might be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it comes like usually they have karaoke and it's usually late in the class. Yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. I think people are excited. Look at that. Lots of drinks. Lots of drinks. <laughs> Lots of drinks. Would next, yeah. we need to be in the um, real quick, before we move on, there's two things I want to make sure we do before we finish up. I know we're not done with the game, but I just want to put it in there. Um, the yeah, Nerds away. Unite Network uh, the, for the con, because we're part of a con, is giving away a Switch. A Nintendo Switch. A Nintendo not Switch. Not, not a light Switch. A Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Switch. <laughs> so there is the link for the giveaway but Close also i got Close the green tonight. light to give uh, our secret code word again oh. so there is a code word that will give you uh, extra entries i think it's 10 or 15 extra entries wow. um, it only takes one entry to win so all these entries help it just increases your chances so make sure you go to that link the player.gg link to enter and this is going to be our secret code word for those of you secret. that weren't here last night. Secret. I'm going to show it on the screen. Secret. secret. Wow. <laughs> microphone. <laughs> you got to whisper it. Microphone. 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 Microphone.
for enter that secret code word. We have Midtown. Check them out. <laughs> Sacramento, California. I would like to enter. Oh, it's it, twenty. Don't have a switch. Okay. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah definitely it. enter. <laughs> it's twenty additional entries. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So make sure if anyone did some some people got it last night. That some people got it last night. But for anyone that did it, you're gonna want to enter that because that's twenty more entries. So. For sure. Yeah, Lonnie, Adam, feel free to enter if you'd like. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, you're I've, been, not... I've been talking about it. I just can't spend that money on myself. Like, yeah. Myself. <laughs> yeah. You got to spend on Elsa's shoes? On Elsa's shoes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll spend them on Elsa's <laughs> shoes. But, um, <laughs> you you want to do the last giveaway, Jorge? Since uh, uh... Let's do the last giveaway, and then I'll do yeah. my last song. Uh, okay. Sounds oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this last giveaway is, I think, our grand prize, right? Yeah. 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 We have a couple things. So we're doing the Mikey Mike pin, right? Are we? Yes. Yeah. For this one, so yeah, our special uh, exclusive Mikey Mike, Mike Pin. Mikey Mike Pin. We're gonna do a um, Hello Kitty fake pin. Ooh, pins! All these. And pins. then we're talking about cosplay, right? We're gonna do the Sanrio guys dressed up as the My <gasps> Hero Academia. No <gasps> Hero Academia. <laughs> Hello Kitty. Oh, so Hello, Hello Kitty. Oh, that's there's Ochaco. Ochaco. We were just Ooh, talking about Ochaco? Sanrio yesterday, too. Ochaco, Ochaco is Deku. Deku. Oh. Deku. And you got Tuxedo Sam Todoroki. Oh. I, love, I think I have some out of box. You got <laughs> Batsmaru Bakugo. Wow. <laughs> you got My Melody Ochaco. Yeah. And you that got so Karopi Suyu. Karo, Karo, Karo. Yeah. So you get the whole set of six. You get the Hello Kitty fig pin, and you get the Mikey Mike exclusive pin. Do Do we uh, want to add more to that? What else? What else you got, Jay? Ooh, come I mean, on, Adam. We'll pin him to them. <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing. We've been playing this game with all these uh, Disney songs. I have these Disney princess pins. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're uh, oh, princesses oh, through the uh, generations. So. Holy yeah. crap! This is a prize. Oh, neat. Tell your friends, guys. So I think I, I think I have to leave early. I gotta enter this giveaway real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then That's one more. Pin. And then one more. We got since, since we're since there's a Disney a Disney pin. We got um, the original the originals Mickey and Minnie big pins. There we wow. go. Wow. This monster pack. So this is a monster prize pack, everybody. <laughs> monster. I need a pin for that. Yeah, you do. So, <laughs> so enter. Um, oh, that's, that's right. I got to launch it. I got to launch it. I forgot. Monster. Okay. Hold on one sec. Let me get this command in there, and then we'll launch it in about 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, can somebody explain to them how to enter real quick, if anyone did jump in late? Yeah, so, so in order to enter, you will need to put exclamation mark, exclamation point. I never know which one it is. Yeah, exclamation point. Our keyword, whatever our keyword is. And then whatever uh, Jorge figures it out, that will enter you into our raffle. I'm going to just make it two oh. minutes. Yeah, two we're, minutes. We're just going to make it two minutes because we're, we're approaching minutes. the end here. Yeah. Um, the end game. We're, Since this we're is the end uh, game. talking about cosplay, how about we throw these in there too? Jeez, oh. he just added a bunch of stuff in there. Ooh, a collage puzzle. The Marvel Funko puzzle. Shout out to Juan and shout out wow. to Beehive for sponsoring our giveaway. Thank so you, you, thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to launch it because no we need to get it launched real quick. <laughs> too. <laughs> okay. Jay, Jay gave those, those Disney kit, those questions. We got to okay. keep track of what we're giving away. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I typed it up. <laughs> okay, the giveaway is about to start now. And... Do it. Your keyword, your keyword is cosplay! Exclamation mark cosplay! Cosplay. C O S P. Okay. Uh, uh, while that's going, should I get the last song in and make yeah. sure that we give? Um, yeah, this is Adam and Lonnie. Want to make, so sure make sure it's a good, a good rendition, Jorge. Watch me not <laughs> get it, and it takes the whole time. Um. <laughs> I love the yeah, warm up. You ready? Do you need okay. some water? No, I'm good. We got this. Do we? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? I don't know. What? Wait, what? <laughs> you don't know that one? <laughs> can I? Uh, can I not hum it? Can I go like? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know dun, what it is. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, wait, I think I do. I think I know what it is. No, I don't. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Do I don't again? know the rest think, of the song. I think I need to go back to the future to figure it out. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hum threw me off, though. <laughs> again. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you got it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Alex. I'm, I hope I hope I made you proud, Alex. Yeah, he was the first to guess. He's yeah, he, first to that's that's Alex's jam right there. Um, Cal four six five. Even the humming is bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dad too. <laughs> okay. Um, Before we go. Uh, Again, thank you to Lonnie and Adam for joining. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Kind of just you know plug what you got going on, what you have in the future, anything that you want to tell to our viewers. I think the best thing to do would be to just uh, follow us on social media at My Once Upon a Time. Friend us and we'll friend you. Unless you look like a big weirdo, and then we won't. <laughs> <laughs> good no, I'm just weirdos. kidding. Just not the bad weirdos. Yeah. Well, I mean. I'll Anybody that looks at all like, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be following this on the business side. <laughs> I always check to make sure it's not a weirdo, like a bad weirdo. Because we're obviously weirdos. The good yeah, weirdos. we're good. We're good weird. We're good yeah. weird. Like, the guy who will stab you with the mini sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm slowly flooding, flooding the chat with their website. Go check them out. Myonceuponatime.biz. Yes. There you go. I love costumes. I mean, if you're farther than Northern California, I'm sure send them like a message and they'll see if they can work something out with you. Oh yeah, video link. Especially we have with the video, video chats. Video yeah. chats such. All across the globe now. <laughs> yeah, in different countries, yeah. it's really neat. That's what I should have said. That was very different. Um, yeah. Oh. If, if I want Draco to just jump in on my work Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> have a show up at your work meeting. Or have him do a video telegram. They're very, very affordable. I and mean, then you can have him singing and you can listen to it anytime you want. Yeah, and you've heard their, their oh, you voices. So you have really good Sweet. Cool. It's the giveaway almost up yeah, yeah. Up. so let's do it. uh let's pick a winner it is the top of the hour we want to make sure we raid over to the sts guys so everyone stick yeah. around because there's still plenty of good content for the rest of the day uh we're going to be raiding the sts guys in this next hour but let's pick a, a winner and then we'll jump on over and so this is a this is a big one let's ultimate. get a drum roll in the chat you know what to ultimate. do you know what ultimate to do let's get a drum roll Okay, and our winner for the ultimate prize pack is Vform seventy four. Congratulations, Vform seventy four. Oh my gosh, you get this giant prize pack. Congratulations! Feel free to message us on Instagram or Twitter at Average Nerd Pod, and we will be sure to send that out to you. Again, I want to thank our guests Adam and Lonnie. Uh, my Once Upon a Time. Again, check them out on. Instagram, their website, um, book them for your video, uh, virtual um, things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but virtual until, things. And everyone, thank you for uh, tuning in and leaving comments. But until next time, see you, nerds. Yeah.